Hello YouTube, welcome back to the floor layout, and today we'll be reviewing a locomotive I've been talking about a lot recently, and yes, I know it's slowly coming in to frame, but there it is. Now this is my Atlas Southern Railway RS3, custom painted from the owner. I got it at a um, train fair, not a train fair, train show, there it is, okay, but... I guess we'll go into some detail. I paid $65 for this one. I know, not that much. To some people it is a lot. But, I guess we'll go into detail, and then I'll run her. Let you see how it runs. Okay, starting off with the smaller nose. You have your headlight, which is non-directional, but both do light. Both do work. You got your double headlight here, as prototypical of the Southern. You have your legible numbering there for the locomotive. Separately applied brake wheel. Molded in grab iron to either side. Here's one here. And there's more on this side going up. I've yet to figure out what this platform is. If anyone knows, please tell me down in the comments. You got your number board here on the side with the loco's number, the 2144. You have separately applied handrails and grab rails. As you can see, the paint's chipping off of mine. Then again, it was custom painted by the original owner. You've got the new coupler, which I had just recently installed due to it. This one breaking. The one on the back breaking. It was actually a very simple fix. If anyone wants me to explain how I did it, I'll do it in a separate video. But, I guess that's it for the front. Oh yeah, you do have the nice paint scheme down here on the actual front. It's more of a safety kind. But we move on. You get nice detail on the side. Lots of engine compartment doors. Sorry about the um, camera there. Kind of maybe knocked it. You got your two horns, one facing in either direction. Your cab, which is not does not have cab interior detail but instead if you could look in there hold up one second okay I don't know if this is gonna help anybody I just turned on my light if you can see in there which you can't oh well but if you can see in there it's actually just this continuing through because the cab is a separately applied part you can just pull the cab off and leave this on basically making this a slug unit But Anyway, continuing on, you have the nice lo Southern Railway logo. You have it here too, which is legible. And of course, this is legible. <laughs> you got your side grills here for the radiator. There's your fan for the radiator. Exhaust stack here. This is either Dynamics or more exhaust. But I do know the RS3s do ha did have um, Dynamics, or some models did. You have rivet details right there. Overall good detail on the side. And you have your gas tank with air pipe or air containers. Why am I doing so bad at this? Oh well. <laughs> Enough about my life. If we can just hold up. Pull it back some. There's your front view of the locomotive. You got Another number board, another um number thing, e. Another one of those platforms which I don't know. Again, if anyone knows what that is, please tell me down in the comments. But there's your other functioning headlight. It is non, it is not a directional lighting thing, sadly. But here's your older coupler. The, it was like the one on back, but the one on back, of course, broke. You've got your plow down here in front. Or breaker. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I think that's a molded in coupler release thing. Coupler cut lever. Thank you. But I think that's molded in. It's either that or nothing at all. But again, safety paint scheme on front. Separately applied handrails. That's broken. Oh well. <laughs> but yeah, I guess that's it for the front and side details of the locomotive. If anyone wants to look underneath, 
there's the underside. Not much going on. And here's the other side of the locomotive. Now, personally, I don't know which way is the front because there's no identifying F. On diesel locomotives, they have an F on the front. F on the side of the locomotive, which designates which side is the front. I usually run it long to long side forward, which would make this side the front. But for today, I'm running it short nose. Anyway, I think I forgot to mention something. Yeah, this side has three cab windows, and this side only has two. I forgot to mention that. But you do have your horns on top facing either direction. This is a DC model, so it doesn't doesn't have sound but I guess that's all for decal right now I'll go ahead and get her attached to a train and you'll see it okay I got a train set up or pre set up two hoppers a tank a tank car I got a I actually got the tank car the same time same convention from as I did as the RS3 you have my kit bash box car, which I will be doing a review on. My refrigerator, which I got with the RS3 and the tank car. And then my only Southern Railway caboose. Fitting. Anyway, I'll get her hooked up to the train. And I guess you'll see her. I guess we'll do the coupling through the camera again. This is actually one of my smoothest locomotives. That was a little bit harsh of a coupling, and of course it didn't couple. Here we go. Now I'll get her going around the layout and get some shots of her. Yeah. Time killer, I guess, as we wait for her to come around. I have plans in the future of purchasing a locomotive, and if I could get enough ad revenue, which I know is probably never going to happen, I could possibly get a, I'm possibly shooting for an Atherin SD40-2 high nose Southern Railway locomotive with DCC and sound, and let me know in the comments if you want to see that, because I'll do it if you want. I'm actually planning on purchasing it, it this Friday. Just stuttered really badly there. But, yeah. It's probably going to be here. If I purchase it Friday, it's probably going to be here in the next 12 millenniums. Because you know how mail goes. But, yeah, that's it running. And that's my plans for the future. So, yeah, let me know in the comments if you want to see that. And I guess that's it for now. Be safe, ride safe, do whatever makes you happy, I, I'm not going to judge you, peace out.